Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma bar A habit of love from the narrations of the Salaf al-Salih Ridwan Allahi alayhim comes a narration of Ibn Sarin Rahimahullah Ta'ala with regards to envy and why we need to avoid this negative and wicked trait and the only permissible time if you will if we refer to it as envy that you should be jealous of someone for example is with regards to their religion and the good that they do and in fact this is not an envy because hasid is a negative trait but this is a wishing that you had that ni'mah so that way you could do like them or better for example look at the service that the brother without knowing much about him uh, I think his name was Ali Binat or something similar to this may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy upon him forgive him of his sins and bless him with Jannah the Pardos I mean Ya Rabbil Alameen for what he did so to wish that you had the wealth that he had to be able to spend it in the cause similar, similarly to him is not a negative trait or to wish that you had ilm like the ulama so that way you could call the people to the book of Allah and the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam without taking away the knowledge of that alam or that da'i or what have you then this is something khair to pray for this and want this but envy is to want to izalat al ni'mah on ghair it is to want to remove the the blessing or favor that someone else has it's wanting to remove that that blessing and maybe wanting it for you so for example instead of wanting something good that you say look at my neighbor his car is so nice I hope that he has an accident. I would be loud with that, but this is an example. Or I hope his car, you know, breaks down or something like this, and I can have a car like that, or I I can get his car, or whatever the case may be. It is wanting to remove the good from someone else. This is madhmoon. This is the negative trait. Listen to this narration of our salaf, uh, Ibn Sarin. He said, He said, I never had hasid or, you know, this envy for a, a man ever, you know, for any person, ever. In canam in awliyaillah, for kaifa ahsaduhu ala shay min hitam ad dunya. And this is in Hilya. Imam Ibn Sarin he said, I never had envy for any person. Ever. And if the person is from one of the saints of Allah, you know, the pious awliya, the beloved servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you will, then how could I have envy towards him upon anything with regards to anything which is from the ruins of the dunya you know those things in the dunya that have no value because most of the things in the dunya will die and will pass on it has no value so look at how Ibn Sirin was with the having keeping his heart clean and away from the ruinousness of Hasid and realizing that all these things in the dunya if it's not helping you to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then it really, it ultimately, it has very little benefit, if no, if no benefit at all. And in fact, many things in the dunya can be a hindrance to us remembering and coming closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And yet still, many of us have hasid, they have envy with regards to it. So it's very important to strive to purify your heart Remind yourself of the ni'amillah, the blessings that you have, and look to those beneath you. Look to those people who have no home. Look to those people who live on the street. Look to those people who are infected with not one disease, but diseases. 
and poverty and sickness and if they had children can't even begin to take care of their children and said some of them may even give their children away or sell their children or do the most heinous things but the point being is look to those people who are beneath you that don't have the blessings that you have don't look to those people who are above you meaning above you in either some worldly status or world or, or wealth and so forth unless it is those people who Allah has favored with khair to do good and you want to for example memorize the Quran like them to be able to teach others or you want to gain knowledge to be able to teach others like them or you want the wealth that they have or more in order to spend it in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's cause or you want whatever they have of, uh, of of goodness that they were a great mujahid so that way you could be strong like them to go in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala vis a vis and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم